Okay, this is crazy. I gotta tell you guys this. So, I have been lucky enough to basically be what I call a metaphysical entrepreneur for the past eight years. Um, I work in a metaphysical bookstore. I learn all kinds of great information on top of what I was raised with and exposed to. Um, I am a sound healer. I do individual healing sessions. I do group, um, group meditations. And I'm also a sacred toolsmith, um, along with my, my boyfriend, Michael. So Michael and I are sacred toolsmiths and we will vend and we'll sell stuff. And I work at the shop and I do my sound healing. So really my entire life is all about the metaphysical. And I am so grateful. And I'm grateful for so many things. Like I'm grateful for the fact that I don't have to watch out for who I'm around when I'm talking about something because everyone in my life knows about everything. And I know, um, you know, back in working in the corporate world that you can't always say everything to anybody. Like people think you're weird if you're like, so this moved across my living room, you know, the other day and I know it was, it meant this, you know, and they're like, what? So I, I appreciate it so much and I appreciate the fact that I completely take for granted um, that I can just speak that way. And I mean, that bleeds out into my whole life too. Like I'll be out in public and I'll talk about crazy stuff and everybody's just like okay with it. And I think it's because I've, I've lost that fear. And that's one of the things I'm most grateful for. I lost that fear. So, I also say <laughs> that sometimes, um, sometimes I can be a little dense about getting information and getting messages and, um, and I need cosmic bonks on the head. So even though I can read other people's energies and I can tap in and I can tap in about somebody, you know, that that allows me to, I always ask permission, um, but I'm able to help a lot of people that way. Um, and I can give a reading and I can kind of pick up on what's going on. I, even those who do tarot or do psychic readings and all that sort of thing. Oh, my computer needs to update, sorry. Um, we still sometimes don't pick up on what's being put right in front of us. So I need cosmic bonks on the head. Like I need, and by that I mean, I need really obvious things to happen to tell me, girl, wake up, we're telling you something. So I thought I would share with you that um, it happened this week, well actually, last week into this week. So last week I get a call out of the blue and it's from a headhunter from a resume I must have posted, I don't know, years ago. And they were, they wanted to put me up for this position that would be a full-time position. And it would not be in the spiritual realm at all. And they were offering an ungodly amount of money. <laughs> um, so the temptation was there. And I definitely felt that I was off my center. I started getting nervous about oh my God, I'm gonna have to put together like this little business outfit and um, what can I do about my crazy hair and am I gonna be able to wear it how I want to? And you know, cause you know me, I don't really do my hair, at least not often. Um, this is my hair done, cause it did this today. Um, 
I'm fine, I'm home, I'm comfy, this is my at-home hairdo. And sometimes it spills over into the working hairdo. <laughs> but enough about that. Um, so I was like thinking to myself, gosh, I think I've donated all my suits and my little, you know, my business attire. Um, except for, you know, a couple of pieces for when you need to be professional. Um, and I really started to consider it, but the more I considered it, the more nervous I got. And this fear started to creep in. And not making a connection at all. I started seeing, like, out of the corner of my eye, like, little shadows, like almost like a little shadow cat running around my apartment. And my Isadora is very ill. She's my kitty. And I thought, oh, maybe, you know, maybe it's getting close to that time. But it's not. So, so as I said, I was considering this. And I come home in the afternoon from running errands and I took my earmuffs off and I put them on a coat hook and I go into the next room and I hear boom, boom. So my earmuffs fell, fell off the coat hook and they landed a few feet away, which fine, they probably fell, they bounced, you know. And um, they land st standing perfectly straight up. Odd, unusual, not impossible, right? So I took a video of it and I'll show that here. I also want you to notice the orbs that are flying through the video. So take a look. That's crazy. These just fell from the coat hook and they landed like this, like perfectly straight up and down. Okay, weird, right? Hold on. So I got little shadow kitties, or at least that's what I think they are. Got little things running around that are catching my attention. Got the earmuffs jumping off the hook, landing straight up. Odd, not impossible. And then in the evening, like I said, my Isadora is not doing well, or she's not feeling well. I have to give her subcutaneous fluids, which means I have to put fluids under her skin every night. And I have to inject different medicines into the line. And the needles that I inject them with are about five inches tall and about a maybe half inch diameter at the base. So I'm moving the little cart over to where I get everything set up and I put the needle on the lower shelf and I hear it fall as I'm moving the cart. And I turn around and it lands like this. Okay, this is crazier. What? I'm getting stuff ready to give my cat injections and this needle fell and it fell standing straight up. What? Okay, I'm gonna sh This landed on like a centimeter round base. That's insane. Are you freaking kidding me? 
Okay. Not impossible, but pretty darn close to it. And I'm like, okay, someone's here. Still not putting two and two together, but someone's here. Then I thought, hmm, earmuffs too. That's odd. So later on, I'm in the office, Michael's in the living room, and he says, did you spray perfume? I said, no, why? It's like, I smell perfume. And I went, ah, someone's here. I wonder who, I wonder why, but someone's here. Okay, I've got family that comes back and looks out for me. I'm sure we all do. Just sometimes they make themselves more well-known than others. Still not putting two and two together. Still seeing these little shadow things running around. I've also had multiple black cats over the years. So it could be one of those coming back and just saying, hey, 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 hey. The next day I'm at the shop. And I decide definitely not going to take this job. And right then, everything goes, ah, clicks into place. And I realize, oh, it was my guides telling me, girl, what's wrong with you? You're supposed to do what you're supposed to do. And I had looked down to read my horoscope and picked up my phone and it said 1212. And I had never had 12-12 before. And so I said, hmm, okay. So I'll look up 12-12. And basically it's talking about being on your spiritual path and keeping your dreams positive, or keeping your thoughts positive because your dreams are coming to fruition and, you know, your highest intentions. Um, what is it? The forefront of your dreams or... Like, your main dreams, focus on those because you're going to make those happen. And I'm like, okay, this other situation would not be that at all. It would totally be turning me around and I would have to go back, you know, back into the corporate world, basically, for a little while. And I was like, oh my God, that's what it all is. That's what it is. So it all came crashing together when I saw the 1212 and I went, bing, there it is. So the moral of the story, I think there's several. One, pay attention to the signs that come at you. Two, stay true to yourself. And when we are being true to ourselves. We get signs and sometimes we get signs when we're not being true to ourselves because it's saying, hey, get back on track. The next day I was considering it a little bit more and I go to grab my phone and it says 1212 again. Okay, I'm done. That was it for me. So I just want to let you guys know that I'm not leaving anytime soon. I'm not leaving this life at all. Um, sometimes doubt creeps in every once in a while about things. And I'm human. It happens to me too. But you know what? <sighs> pay attention to the signs. Just pay attention. Because you're going to be made aware when you're doing the right things okay i just wanted to share that with you i hope that speaks to you on some level and uh i just thought it was pretty incredible that it all just went boom 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 and stuff like that tends to happen the more you're open to it the more you recognize things happen now don't go looking for things because i have so many people coming in saying you know, oh my God, I was thinking of a green light and then I was in traffic and there was a green light. I mean, not that bad, but you know, 
don't look for it. They will come to you. They will, oh, 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 I forgot this. Oh my God, okay. Couldn't believe this. The day out, the night I was coming home, before the earmuffs dropped, I pull it, now I live kind of an urban area right now. I pull into my driveway, there's a red fox in my driveway. What? What? So there's a red fox in my driveway. Stops, turns around, looks dead at me, turns around and runs up my driveway and I'm like, okay, did I just see that? I come around the back of my house where I usually park and there it is again. And he, he stayed there, ran, for some reason I think it was a she though, she runs directly through my parking spot and behind my garage. Okay, I definitely just saw a red fox. So, I look up shamanic meaning of red fox because that's the way I always like to look up animal, animal meanings. As a spirit animal, the fox, re I'm reading this to you now, so I, I apologize. The fox reveals itself during times of great and unpredictable change. With its heightened sense of awareness, hello, wake up, have a heightened sense of awareness, the fox compels you to turn up your own senses, gather the information you need, and act swiftly on your decision. The fox symbolizes mental responsiveness. So it's about making a decision, but gathering your information. Yes, I think it was some sort of test, or maybe it was just random that they found me and asked me. But I, I really feel like it was some kind of a test. And I don't know. I mean, is, is it some mundane forces that just kind of throw themselves at you every once in a while to kind of test your leather, you know, to test your metal, um, possibly. But it was like, you gotta make this decision now because the universe is waiting to hear from you. And so I made the decision. It still took me until the next day, okay, so not immediate, but I made the decision and that's exactly what it felt like. Like the universe was presenting this to me to ask, are you really all in? Well, yeah, I'm all in. So I'm here for you guys and I just wanna say thank you for watching and I'm loving my life right now and I'm getting teary eyed because I really am so blessed to be living this life and doing what I do for a living and have people appreciate and have people get results from the work that I do for them. Um, I, have peop I appreciate people trusting me um, to do that kind of work, to be that kind of intimate, very intimate work, to do spiritual work with them, to do energy work with them and to help them dive deeper. And I just want to say thank you to everyone and thank you to universe. Um, I am so very blessed and I think we all have the opportunity to be blessed. So be true to yourself, find your path. And I do believe the universe will provide. So thank you. I am crying too much now. <laughs> um, thank you so much, you guys. I just had to share that with you. So I love you. And if you are, if you enjoy my kind of ramblings and if you enjoy the information when I actually give an informational, <laughs> when I give an informational, uh, video, um, please subscribe. And I'm going to start going down different paths and interviewing different people and, um, interviewing people that walk different paths so that we can have knowledge over fear.
you know, um, so we can all get to know each other a little bit better and have a deeper understanding of one another before we judge. So knowledge over fear. And again, thank you everyone. Have a wonderful day, wonderful evening, wonderful week, and celebrate your beautiful self. And thank you. All right. That's all for now. Until next time, I'm Tala. Take care.